All right, uh, welcome to Homecoming uh, 2023, Rad Munch Middle School. Uh, I am Coach Corey Donnerelson, Sr., Head Coach and Athletic Director. Sitting with me to my right is quarterback Ezra Gilstrap. To his right is linebacker and running back Tyler Brown Sumlin. To his right is defensive back, wide receiver, Caden Strozier. And to my left is DN, now fullback, <laughs> Taylor James. So to all of you, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks for having us. I want to shed some light on the season this year. It started out pretty rough, 0-1. We were coming into our own. Did not get a chance to have the summer or spring that we needed. But we persevered, made some adjustments, had a few changes, and now we're even at 2-2 two and two on the season. As those of you who have come to the game can see that we have progress throughout the season. And we've gotten better and better. Got a lot of compliments from other teams we have faced and got compliments from parents and other parents of opposing teams. So I'm very proud of these guys, even though I get on them and I coach them real hard, but it's all for the fundamental development, not just for football, but for life. So with that being said, please come out. Uh, thanks for all your support. Uh, we definitely need it. We're looking to have a winning season. Bunch has a tradition of winning, and we're going to continue that this year. So we knocked off the loss and even at our record right now we are 500 so we're not a loop have a losing season or a winning season we're right at being what we are two and two which is great because now we get to start from scratch and finish to go four and two and uh, pray for a playoff bid so with that being said i'm going to turn over to some of the guys uh start with you quarterback gill strap just share some light on the season right now, you know, 2023, uh -huh. you came in right after the first game and, you know, we got things on and popping and rolling. So what has this season meant to you and what has it been like so far? Uh, I feel like I have been having a great start, but it's more, it's room for improvement anytime. So what is the uh, greatest improvement that you've seen uh, on the team since you started after the first game? What have you noticed as far as chemistry wise on offense? Uh, just us coming together and like we got more confidence on the field and we it's more chemistry more chemistry every time we play being quarterback and knowing that that happened uh were you up to the task of leading the team that you feel in the pressure or you was like this is something that i do all the time i feel like this is something that i have to do and like you said this is something that i do all the time got it got it let's start with little man mr football here uh tyler brown sumlin playing linebacker your first year middle school football, seventh grader, undersized, <laughs> but how has that experience been for you? It's been challenging, but after the first game, it was it was on. Kind of got your feet wet, mm -hmm. knowing what you was dealing with. Did you see a difference from middle school versus rec or travel ball the first, it's, first game? It's like you're playing higher, higher, older people and more competition. So, Mr. Strozier. Another little guy plays with a big heart. What did you notice about the speed of the game on the middle school level versus the travel ball or rec league? Uh, the speed, rec league is like slow and they don't get, they give you all the time, but you don't have no, no time in middle school ball and you have to like, like. So you have to think and react very quickly, right? So your decision is your decision. You have no time to second guess yourself, correct? Yes. So how do you rank your improvement from first game to now where we are? Uh, first game, I didn't do very well. And up to now, I think I improved way, way more. But I still got more improvement to do. OK, great. Big man, <laughs> Taylor J. So. Coming in, I remember when I first met you, said, Coach, hey, I play football. You know, I'm real good. I play fullback. And you have sacrificed and did some line for us, but you got the opportunity to get some fullback on last game. How did that feel to actually do it at this level? It felt great. Um, it felt like I love doing what I do. Right. What have you noticed about yourself this year? Was there any measuring stick that you had? Or any type of skepticism that can I do it at this level versus travel ball, or did you always have the confidence knowing that this is something I can excel at? I always had a confidence to think I could overachieve my peers, mm -hmm. and I hope my football teammates, 
have that same mentality. So uh, you can answer one by one question I have for you all. The two losses that we have, what have you learned from those losses? I feel like besides being upset at man. <laughs> I feel like since this is my first year playing like middle school ball, I feel like I can like I don't know if like I can do better in this stuff like that. It's like like I said, move for more improvement. But at the same time, you don't ruin everything. Got it. Tyler. So on the first loss, it was like we weren't ready, like how we practiced, we went we didn't practice good that week. On the second loss, it was chemistry, like talking Got on it. your assignments. Got it. Strozy? Um, first loss, I think it was like a team effort. And like if we had like like more chemistry and more confidence, I think we could we could put up a, a good fight against John Lewis. And, cool. That's good. And the second fight, we, we had – Everything we fought, we tried our best, and we just couldn't. We we did our assignments. We just couldn't pull the win. All right, Taylor. On our first loss, a lot of mistakes were made. Um, it's just we just been getting better and better at what we're doing, and the chemistry has been building up. All right, we're gonna support the to win tomorrow. Good. Definitely, that is going to happen. We are going to win. I called out the win against Howard. Coach Terry was there. I am a prophet. <laughs> so we're about to end it right here, but I want to ask you all something. I am very curious to hear the responses. So you have three coaches, right, including myself. <laughs> Tell everybody something about each one of your three coaches. Let's start with me first, okay, Gil Strap. <laughs> I know who I am, all right, but I want to know. <laughs> Coach Dunn also. All right. When you think about Coach Donner, or something, what comes to your what comes to your mind? Uh, I feel like he he's a coach that always believes in you. He knows your talent. He knows what you got to do. But it's okay yeah, when you get mad. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's funny. He's a real jokester, but it's 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 like he just be. <laughs> it's like he just be like. Serious the whole time. Mm -hmm. Let me go down the line. No, uh, yeah, go ahead real quick, Coach Dawson. Uh, Coach Dawson, um, he's a good, he's a good young coach. I like, I like him a lot, to be honest. That's really all I got. And our line coach, big man, <laughs> he joke around with everybody. Uh, he gets the team hype. Right. That's what we need sometimes. And he just like. Uh, confidence boost in us. Cool man. Tyler. Uh, well, I, when I when I think Coach Don Nelson, I think way back to when he put confidence in me when I wasn't feeling confident. And yeah, but on Coach Dotson, he's funny, real funny. And Coach Alexander, like what Strap said, confidence booster for the whole team. All right, Strozier. When I think of Coach Don Nelson, I think uh, he a passionate um, co coach about he he loves the game he he's on it and he knows our capabilities and what we're able to do and Coach Dotson he he expects more from us on defense and he's a great coach and Coach Alexander he pushed us to a he pushes us to the fullest and gets all gets a hundred and ten percent out of all every last one of us. All right, good. Last but not least, Taylor. When I think of Coach Don Nelson, I think of him always believing in us and think we can achieve our highest in everything that we do. And when I think of Coach Dawson, I think of him helping me in helping others on the D-line, like get them shopping. Um, <laughs> when I think of Coach Alexander, I think of the hard work. And no other team can outwork us Right. And what we do. So that's what I think. All right, there you have it, Coach Don Erlson. A few of the students.
student athletes on Red Bunch football team, give you knowledge, give you insight of some of the things, thoughts, words, wisdom, things that we go through in mannerisms. But at the end of the day, we are one big family and we are a team. Uh, we are persevering, we are learning each and every day, and we're gonna give a victory for homecoming. So with that being said, come out tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock a.m., uh, Eddie Henderson Stadium, Midtown High School. You're gonna see a victory on homecoming. Peace.